Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great War, a mod for Napoleon Total War and I'm playing as Romania because it's my home country and we're gonna kick off the second episode we're kinda, I'm kinda excited, I don't know about you, I was gonna say we are kinda excited but that depends on how excited you are I'm excited to to get some stuff built and get and get um, get an army under our belt and get something done if I look at my victory conditions uh, here are all the Britain you know regions I'm supposed to hold and then I can highlight them and go around uh, everybody's pretty much you know I mean the Greeks uh, I think they're in they're at war and they're on the side of the Allies and same with Serbia uh, these two regions are controlled by Austro-Hungary, same with Transylvania, and uh, then we have the Ottomans. If I um, personally, I want to also take Moldova because that's part of Romanian land, and um, I can't really. I, I probably won't declare war on the Russians. What I'll probably do is. Um, Try to try to exchange land with the Russians, like maybe take like this region here, eventually Galicia, and be like, hey, I'll give you that. Can you give me Moldova? And they'll be like, okay, maybe, and then I'll be able to unite the Romanian uh, provinces. But uh, I think my my plan of attack is to get at least one army to go offensively against the the Ottomans here, and then um, have one to defend my homeland because. If everything is the way it should be, um, the Austro-Hungarians are going to attack me because I'm attacking their buddies. So that's kind of the idea. Um, <coughs> diplomatically, uh, I will try to trade with the Russians as well. Although they probably won't want to um, do anything like that, but you know what? Uh, how about? Oh, you have you have technologies. I don't have. Let's cancel that. Let's give you payments. I'm gonna offer some uh, amount of. Ooh, I can only. Can I type in? I can type in 500. Yep. Okay. How about? Um, yeah, pay once, and let's see if they will accept. They okay. Got it. Oh, sweet. All right, so they're uh, allied with France, United Kingdom, and Serbia. Uh, the Serbia thing, I'm hoping that they get taken out by somebody else, so then I can go in and take the land, something like that. So uh, we're trading with the Russians now, and our uh, trade income should be all right, I think. Um, yeah, trade with uh, with the Austrians will have to end eventually, and same with the Ottomans, but. For now, that's that's the plan. I do thank you so, so much for tuning in. I um I hope I can get something done in this episode. Um, at least have a nice standing force. I still don't have a general uh, leading my forces as you saw last time and it might be a bit more difficult uh, without a general but until I have I, th I believe I have to have a um, university to get generals there's intellectual structure right there so once I get to attack the Ottomans I'll have uh, well I'll have a port city I'll have a university and all sorts of stuff so I'm hoping that works out for me um, I'm guessing we're holding on to our money unless I want to um, yeah unless I want to upgrade the farms or build more units uh, which looks like I'm building some and upkeep cost is 200 you know what, let's get another one of those yeah. In f fact, yeah. 
Yeah, that's fine. I think I mentioned something before. Historically, Romania entered the war on the side of the Allies in 1916. And um, they took heavy losses because the Central Powers quickly attacked from everywhere and um, they took a lot of the land uh, of Romania and only when the tide of war kind of started to shift then uh, the Romanians went and took their land back and also uh, took Transylvania and marched all the way to Budapest and even took that city um, after the war was over because well I guess you know they felt like it and the treaties of peace and everything um, gave nations their uh, native land back uh, the you know historians and every everybody knew what a land was controlled by what majority of people they looked at you know um, like majority of population was Romanian here and here and so they're like well that's obviously Romanian land and that happened with everybody that happened with um, nations all around Europe not just not just us all right do we want to spend our money on the city council and uh, get some better repression tax income wealth Recruitment capacity. I kind of have foreign recruitment. It, uh, well, I guess it enables the research. So I won't be able to research. If I do training facility, I'll be able to not recruit any of the new ones because I don't have the researches available for any of those combat engineers or rifle grenadiers or flamethrowers or anything like that. But I would get more i get some bonuses and get research points, replenishment, uh, lower classes will be unhappy and this will probably make the lower classes happy. No, it doesn't. Okay, well, either way, we're gonna have to probably build all of those things, so. This one is factories, which... Yeah. Meh, yeah, that's also worth it. Alright. That's all we're doing that month. December 1914. Or, I guess, half the month. That's a lot of little guys walking around. Like, I'm not sure why... Why you guys can't all be in one force. But, you know, that's fine. I guess... I guess you're cool and you like walking around. Walking around in troops of two... And groups of two. <laughs> I can see their land here and there because I'm trading with them, so I have line of sight. I could turn that off, but uh, this nation has pulled out of the trade agreement with me, although the exact reason is unknown. Boo hoo. I recruited a unit. Um, so the models are not in for all these guys, but. Golly, I have need of more units. I could get light infantry. Uh, and there we go. I don't really want militias. So we get another rifle. That's eating up our money, yes. But what else am I going to do with that money right now, right? Yeah. I could have started this campaign earlier. Um, for a while I didn't know that this campaign existed. That this mod existed. And um, that's probably why I didn't. <laughs> And so now I'm like, well, might as well do it. It's it's about doing something different, doing something fun. Um, I'm also 
doing it for um just for I guess personal I don't even know what to call it. Um that would be nice. Just for personal satisfaction, I think it's what the word is I'm looking for. Well, Ottomans. Why are you so not willing to trade with me? He did. He's like, yeah, I'll trade. Fine. Um, not making that much from them, but that's fine. I think that's, I think that's fair. I'll keep taking their money. Might as well turn off the moves of the AI because I'm spending more time looking at them than in my own turn at this point. Things are going great, otherwise we're um, building and recruiting and nobody's really bugging us. So I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna do the options and game settings and not show CPU, CPU moves. Uh, for now at least. I'll probably regret that later because I'll just be like attacked by some crazy onslaught of um, I don't know something uh, I think I'm gonna build the rails this will mm, give me more wealth and replenishment and you know spend the 4,000 bucks there we go I don't know what the one the big red thing is there Prestige-wise, I'm probably not on the map, because... Of course, the German Empire is leading. Italy, Austria-Hungaria. We won't have the United States jump in the, in the war, as... At least that's... From what I know. Um, I wish I had... A port. I really need to take out the Ottomans. That's... That's the, that's the big deal. Let's go, let's go, let's go! We're not showing CPU moves, so it should be like... A bit quicker. Um, the key thing for me is to build an army, build a, f a few defensive forces, and not go in the red with the budget. Let's see, what do we have? Okay, so... Uh, it doesn't tell me what I need to do to get the general, but I'm pretty sure I need to have a specific building. Most likely it is the... Um, the thing with... with the stuff. There is there's the whole income, so I'm making eleven seventy six. Army upkeep is getting up there. I can't do any of the researches, so that's really hurting me. I'm um, pretty sure of that. Late February. I was born in February. Not 1915, because that would make me uh, significantly older than I am right now. I would be 100 years old, and I don't think I sound like 100 years old. You might have seen my picture um, on my channel previously, or maybe on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter. Uh, if I am 100 years old, 
I aged really well. I was born in Transylvania, so you never know. Yeah. You know what they say? They say a lot of things. They say a lot of things, my friends. Um, apparently I'm losing population. Uh, let's see. I don't know how I'm losing population because it's gone up. I'm over a million now. Policies. Um, maybe we have some new ministers. Let's see. His competent, which means zero to management. All of these guys are competent to the zero max. Seriously, all of them. All right. Uh, I think the only yeah this guy has bonuses tactician and honest. What is honest? Management for treasury. Uh, um, Theodore. Oh, he is there. Okay. And uh, head of state is also pretty competent. <laughs> Zero bonus. I guess that kind of makes sense. If you're competent, that means you're doing the job right. You're not messing up. If you're incompetent, then you would have like a minute min minus to um, the the skill. Um, and <coughs> golly, um, How big is this army? Four, six, eight units. Not big enough. I don't even. Okay, let's just let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Let's let's um. Let's recruit. Uh, we're gonna have to recruit another light infantry and a couple more of these. The problem is that as soon as I declare war, there'll be a bunch of Russians, or not Russians. Uh, historically, there would there would there would be Russians taking advantage of uh, weaknesses, but there would be a lot of um, Austro-Hungarians probably entering the war against me. Building constructed the farmland at Ploiesti. All right. I'm not sure where. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, do I have these? To research and technology. I don't think I have this one. Definitely don't have this one. Because it's over there. This key with the thing is over there. Yeah, so that's all the farms I can build. I cannot build commercial agricultural um, things, which makes the lower classes sad, <laughs> apparently. Everything makes the lower classes sad. They're just like, oh no, they're changing the way we do things. Um, money for that. I do apologize if you think this is boring. I'm pretty excited with with the potential of this. I mean, just imagine once we get going, uh, how much carnage we could do. Now, granted, uh, we might have to declare war on a lot more nations than we want to. Eventually, uh, I will try. I will try to keep the allies side of the war uh, in friendly terms. We have our municip municipal administration built, which I could build the next one. It's county administration would make cost of construction better, wealth, more repression, which is nice. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm guessing we, we just have to do it. We just have to upgrade all of these. 
Uh, this is not really pointless, although I can't get the units that I'm unlocking. I'll be able to, you know, kind of take advantage of, of the bonuses there. Um, I won't be able to build a um, landing strip. Though this is pretty cool, I haven't noticed this before. It spawns re reconnaissance, renaissance um, planes, it's like spy planes. Um, and I would need a college or, or university to be able to construct the aircraft. So, yeah, I really need a college. I'm gonna cry. Let's build more stuff. Let's let's build the administration, county administration. It is. It's gonna give us uh, tax income, uh, town wealth, cost of construction is gonna be better, and uh, people will be more more repressed. We're repressing them. We're making them feel like they're um, being watched at all times. Um, in fact, you just know that the boss is in control. And the boss is the state in this case, and um, you have to play by his rules. Um, so something like that. And you you kind of you're kind of okay with it. You're content because uh, you know that you get security, and you can go with, you can go to them with any sort of problem, and they'll help you out. And look, there's trains running around. Did we finish the... Oh, the basic rounds are almost done. Um, I... Wish I could enlist the general. We have... Um... Yeah. We have two, four, five, six, seven line infantry. Or rifle infantry at this point. And we have three light infantry. Um, I don't think the Ottomans have a whole lot. I really don't. Look, they have two intellectual centers. That's Greece, commercial center. Gonna take this whole army and um, show a uh, force. Show our our, our uh, you know our force. <laughs> Government, where are your policies? There you go. Okay, so uh, somebody's unhappy here. Yeah. We need to sort of uh, start. Um, let's get 52. Let's get somebody young in there. Let's get. Let's get this guy in the justice system. And uh, this guy's 47. This guy works for treasury. Uh, this guy at 38. I like that our best tactician is 26. The reason I'm making space, I'm gonna make space down here for candidates so we get better candidates. So, for example, I don't really... Yeah, I don't really know which one to get rid of, but, um... I, I don't know. They all have very Slavic names, which, let me tell you, that wasn't such thing. If, if anything, the Romanians had um, royalty from the outside, from like Switzerland, France, and some of those names were like, like for example, our, here we go, here we go, Ferdinand I, Ferdinand is not a Romanian name or he was not Romanian at all. He was he was a 
pointed, I believe, through a 3D. I might be mistaken. Anyway, uh, so for ministers, we're gonna have to make more space. So we're just gonna make we're just gonna make space like that. We're just gonna be like, we don't want that dude. Um, this guy's young, but he is probably not very not very good. Uh, so we're gonna put this 51 year old guy as head of state because we can. Uh, we're gonna keep this guy for a while just because until something good comes in. Um, and yeah, that's about all the changes I want to do at the moment. Um, is the army being outside? Yeah, makes them makes them happier if they're inside. All right. Cool. I think I'll I think I've done enough for today. We're gonna go through one more turn to see if anything happens and then we're gonna call it a day for today I'm, I'm still excited this is gonna be great it's gonna be huge once we have that army and a few units in in uh, in, in in backup <laughs> in, re in reserves um, which would probably be next turn next not next turn next episode I'm gonna do it next episode no matter what I'm gonna build some more units and um, I'm gonna attack south I will even if I don't have a full army I think attacking south is gonna give me that uh, insight about what's going on down there uh, we have finished our infrastructure our rails our basic rails are there uh, so that's gonna make people happy er and uh, it doesn't seem to have changed the way the trains look but yeah, we're going to upgrade as much as possible here. Build more units. Uh, and I'm, I'm guessing a mix of these is what I want. I don't necessarily need... I need a front line, but I need a lot of flanking forces. Alright guys, I do appreciate you watching this. Please do comment and let me know what you think. And stick around for the future. It will be grand, it will be good, and we will have war. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.